facing our states is uh, the topic at this conference, on the topic right now for our next two guests, Janet Cowell, North Carolina Treasurer, and Kevin Boyce, Ohio Treasurer. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. I thought maybe I'd start with both of you giving us a little bit of a sense of the economic outlook in, in your, both of your states. Treasurer, I'll start with you. Sure. Well, you know, Without a question, 2009 was uh, certainly one of the worst years for Ohio since the Great Depression economically. Uh, but we are starting to see indicators that show progress, uh, albeit incremental. Uh, we're starting to see things like a foreclosure rate slowing and uh, the credit market thawing slightly. Uh, we're starting to see our unemployment rate uh, go back down uh, very slowly, uh, but incrementally and slightly. And those are the kind of indicators that, that point toward progress long term. At this point, we'll take incremental and slight. I'm That's right. right. That's right. What about yeah. your state? Uh, we also recently, we had 11.2% unemployment. It went down to 11.1, and we were celebrating that. Um, I understand. So, and also uh, seeing a you know, slowing of the decline, but still, you know, uh, a rough year in terms of budget and it's clearly taken a toll. Sure. Now, you were just on the jobs panel. Um, what can you tell us about where job growth is coming from? Well, we're, we're still trying to create it. I mean, first of all, we, we talked at length uh, about the impact of the stimulus dollars. Uh, in, in Ohio, we received uh, nearly $6 billion in stimulus funds, and, and we believe a great deal of it uh, helped to, to slow what would have been even more of a catastrophic So you scenario. do feel those stimulus dollars have been spent effectively in your state? I, I think they've had an impact. Uh, I think without them, uh, we would be looking at a much deeper hole uh, and a much uh, a greater challenge to, to overcome, even right now. And so, uh, so we talked about that. We also talked about some of the things that we're doing in Ohio, like we have a what we call the Third Frontier um, uh, program on the ballot this year, which will provide a bit of bond issuance for advanced technology, biomedical technology, advanced energy, and alternative energy. Uh, and so these are emerging sectors in Ohio's economy that we think that we can grow. I mean, I'll say we yeah. recently also announced the Innovation Fund in North Carolina, which is about $250 million out of the pension fund to invest in high growth industries in North Carolina. So I think similarly, we're trying to do our part through the pension to uh, accelerate job growth. Right. So uh, unfunded entitlements has already been on the agenda. First thing this morning, Citadel's Ken Griffin put it right out there. We have a crisis in front of us. So I'd like to talk to both of you about you know possible ways to address that. In, in your plans have been performing better than most, but there's still a gap. Um, how do you, how, what is your plan to address that? Well, we are about 99% funded, so we'll be one of the top funded pension plans in the country, uh, which is good news. Uh, I think the challenge is treasurers in convincing the, the General Assembly who fund the plan um, that that doesn't mean that they don't have to step up to the plate and put money into it so that we don't get into the slippery slope um, situation of un, uh, un, being underfunded like many other states have. It's the, it's the the ongoing question of how to fund uh, appropriately our pension funds long term. But in the Ohio Treasury, one of the things that we focused our energy on is reducing the cost and fees of administering the custodial element of the funds. And so, by uh, by that work has allowed us to reduce the cost and by you, twenty million dollars. We've done that fairly effectively. We have. We have. We, we reduced our costs um, for the custodial administering of the funds by sixty three percent. What about on the benefit side? Are adjustments, downward adjustments, and benefits on the table? I mean, that's, that's not a role that the Ohio Treasury plays, but I think that going forward and long term, they're going to be, just about everything will be on the table in terms of how do you shape it uh, to meet the needs of Ohioans, but also uh, those pension fund members who have invested uh, quite a bit into it. What about the gap in the returns that you're seeing? You know, will you adjust your, your rate downward? We um, did seek uh, a diversified asset allocation last year to address some of the challenge in making returns. So we got a 5% credit allocation as well as an inflation hedge in anticipation of potential inflation issues. And we did rebalance more towards the stocks after the, the decline of 08 and early 09. So ongoing challenge there. So you're, as I understand it, you're 90% in, in equity. 
equities and bonds. That's correct. What else are you looking at? Are you looking at private equity? Are you looking at hedge funds? I know that you're, you have money in international funds. Right. Um, but the credit was probably our most active area of investment last year, and I think this year I'm really just looking at towards a more global allocation, um, both for real estate and um, in the global equity. I think also that can be part of our inflation hedge bucket in that you know a number of the emerging markets are good in terms of having a lot more commodities and real assets. Treasurer Cal, Treasurer Boyce, thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your conference, and thanks for spending some time with us today. Thank you.